Hey guys, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me, and if you do know me and you're back, thank you so much. I'm glad to have you guys back. If you can't tell from the title, the title, I don't know where it is. This is part two. So if you didn't see part one, it went out yesterday. Definitely go watch that first. Catch up to speed. This is a huge decluttering organization try on everything in my closet type video and I'll put the link like in the card in the description I'll try to make it really easy but this video just got really out of hand it was a much bigger job than I realized it took me days and days to record and once the editing process was done I realized like everyone does not have an hour to watch a decluttering video and I understand I totally understand so I just thought it would make it easier for everyone to split it up into two parts but when I was recording the video, I did not intend for it to be a two-part video, so I'm just popping in here to give you a little intro, remind you to watch part one first, because I did a lot of closet organization at the beginning, and then tried on 100,000 dresses and decluttered a lot, and now in part two, I'm just continuing on trying on 100,000 dresses and doing a lot of decluttering. It got crazy. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you subscribe. Okay. It is a new day. I feel a renewed sense of motivation to get this done. I'm gonna try on 100,000 dresses in an hour. That's the goal. <sighs> I'm really resisting the urge to switch up this plan, but here and there, I might not try stuff on if I just know I wanna get rid of it. Let's agree on that because I'm so overwhelmed right now and I don't want this to take over my life and it already kinda has. Anyway, this dress, obviously gonna keep it. I got it not too long ago. It's just a super comfy dress and it was a steal on Amazon and I love it. Okay, this dress is a yes, but I don't really think of it as like a dress dress. It's definitely more of like a vacation by the pool over a swimsuit kind of thing. Okay, this one was a tough decision I think it has to go though. It is so cute. I love it for so many reasons, but it's just like tight in all the wrong places and it's just uncomfortable. And I don't even have it zipped up all the way and it's so tight. I don't know if I grew in last year, but kind of feeling like I did. This is like summer in a dress to me. I absolutely love it. I love the back. I love the colors. I love the ruffles. It's definitely a yes. This dress is so amazing. It's comfortable, it's cute, I love the color. I really like everything about it, especially the details. One of the best things about it is I got it for such a good price on Amazon, but I got it a long time ago. So I'll try to find the link and I'll put that in the description. This dress is amazing. I feel like it would be flattering on anyone and everyone. Okay, this dress, I kind of forgot it existed but I love this dress. I've had it for so many years. It is crazy short. It's like incredibly short, but it's also really, really cute. It's like my little snowflake dress. It's fuzzy. It's like a winter white thing and I love winter white. I don't know. I'm really on the fence about this one. I wanna keep it. I know I shouldn't. I'm making a maybe pile. Is that how you curtsy? I don't know. This one's a yes. Now I just wanna curtsy in all the dresses. This one's a yes. There's a whole lot going on with this dress. It almost kind of looks like it's a two piece, but it's a one piece. A brand sent it to me like many years ago and I always wanted to wear it or wanted to find an occasion where I felt comfortable wearing it. And that never happened. So this one's a no. This is a tough one. I feel like it's so cute. Little ruffles, the heart buttons, just everything about it, the way it fits. I love the color but it's not what I typically gravitate to, but at the same time, I have to say yes. I'm saying yes for the hard buttons. Okay, this is a dress that I absolutely love. I've had it for years and years, and it kind of doesn't seem like something you get a lot of wear out of, but I've gotten a surprising amount of wear out of this. It's kind of backless, and the material is so soft. It doesn't seem like the kind of dress that would be comfortable at all, but this totally is, and I'm absolutely keeping it. Okay, I'm gonna talk about two at once here. This one is a definite yes. I absolutely love it. The little lemon print is so cute. The back is really adorable. I didn't really tie it up right, so I don't know what it looks like back there, but the detail is really, really cute. So this one's a definite yes, but this one is gonna be a no. I just feel like there's cuter jumpers out there that would be more flattering for me, so I'm gonna let this one go. This one's a yes. I'm trying to back up so you can really see the bottom. It's a maxi. I love a good polka dot. I love this color. It's comfy. This one's a yes. This one's definitely a yes. This one's another yes. Okay, 
the cherry polka dot dress is a no. I don't know what it is, but it's just not flattering on me. Tried to make it work, but it just doesn't work. This dress makes me feel like a ballerina, so clearly it's a yes. Okay, I've had this one forever. You can probably tell because of the style. It feels like kind of dated. I don't wear this anymore and I don't wanna wear it anymore, so it's a no. All right, I just took a break and I was sitting on the floor and now I have red spots on my knees. Great, that's what I get for taking a break. This dress I've had forever. If you've been with my channel for forever, maybe you remember. I did like a style swap video with Bunny and I gave her this dress to wear and I still have it. I still really, really love it. Honestly, I haven't worn it in so long because I remember it not fitting that well. But now I feel like it fits really well. I don't know. All that to say, I'm not getting rid of it, even though I probably should. Okay, the zipper is stuck on this one and I'm not even going to fight it. Obviously, this is a no. This one's a yes. Okay, I got a story with this one. It's a short one though. Okay, so before Grant and I got married, when we were just dating, I think we were engaged, he bought me this dress. It's from Amazon. And to be totally honest with you, this is not really my style. I wouldn't have chosen it for myself, but I feel guilty getting rid of it because it was just such a sweet gesture and it does still have a tag on it. I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it purely out of guilt. Definitely yes for this one. Okay, if you look at this dress and you try to tell me you think of anything other than the Mac and Trees Crayola crayon, you're lying. But despite that fact, I am keeping it. Sadly, this one is a no. I have really, really fond memories of this jumpsuit and actually, there is a chance that I've met some of you guys watching now wearing this jumpsuit. Years and years ago, I think it was at a beauty con, I did a meet and greet and I wore this and that was such a fun day and there are so many good memories and I love meeting you guys literally anytime, anywhere, but this jumpsuit has never really fit me very well. It's awkwardly short and it kind of like goes up my butt. I don't see myself wearing it again, so I'm just gonna let it go. This one is definitely a yes. This dress is so cute, and before I put it on, I was like, why haven't I worn this in so long? And then I put it on and I realized that these little arm things, the elastic, like strangles my arms. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile because I do think it's really cute. Definitely keeping this one. I think this one is a no. Okay, I was just trying to convince myself to get rid of this dress, but it's cute and I really like it. It's short though, I'm keeping it. Okay, we're doing a two for right now. I don't know how I've hung on to this dress for so long. My gut still likes it. I still think it's cute, but I haven't worn it in so many years and I don't know, I'm letting it go. This one's a no. And then this skirt right here, very interesting. And that's what always keeps me wanting to keep it. But finally, I'm just, I'm gonna let it go. Oh, also update. We are now up to 22 items I'm getting rid of. Pretty good, right? Okay, this is definitely another dress that I tend to forget I have. I've had it since probably like 2015. It's Reformation. I think it's a really cool, unique dress. I love this dress and I definitely wanna keep it. I'm definitely, definitely keeping this dress. It comes with leggings and a scarf kind of shawl thing. I got it in India when my sister was getting married in India a couple of years ago and I just love this dress. Big yes for this one. Okay, I'm starting to get burned out again. I'm about to call it quits for today, but I just wanna run through a couple really quick. This one is a yes. I absolutely love this dress. I've had it for a long time. I can't really put it on properly by myself, but you get the idea. It's just a cute red dress. And then these are just a few more yeses that I didn't feel like I needed to try on because I just recently tried them on on my channel. I might've just showed you this one. I ended up getting the pink one too. It is so pretty. I just love these dresses so much. Much. And then I also have these wrap dresses. These are all super affordable Amazon dresses. If you watch that video, you remember. Obviously, these are all yeses. I'm keeping all of these. And then now, since I just ran through like five yeses, I'm gonna get you five no's. I have seven things I'm getting rid of. This one's a no. This one's a no. No. Okay, this one is a big no. I feel like I didn't even like this when I got this. It's just no. Another dress from the company that sent me that blue dress that I never really wore. Well, this one has a tag on it also. Another crazy <laughs> jumpsuit. 
not cute, not wearing that anymore. And then this last one is nude. It's got a little tie up detail. I do think this one is really cute, but I'm just done with it. Okay, I just tallied everything up, including these last seven, and I have 29 total for the get rid of pile. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm definitely gonna hit my goal. I have a lot more to try on, a lot more to get rid of. I am so burned out right now. I totally do not wanna try on more clothes, but we're gonna make it happen. Okay guys, this is like day what? Day three, day four of this process. And you know what? I'm just done. I'm sure you could tell yesterday I was done, but today I'm really, really done. And so we're just gonna do a lightning round. I still have this pile and then two more piles on the floor here to get through and I'm not trying anymore on. Like I'm so done with it. I feel weirdly guilty changing the plan for the video, but I can admit when I've had a bad idea and I'm just done. I just have to lightning round this, do it as fast as possible. And you know what? I'm pretty sure you guys are sick of seeing me try on clothes. I know I am. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna pick my pile back up. Welcome to the lightning round. Okay, weird, stringy, Reformation black dress, it's gonna be a no, too stringy. Next, my bridesmaid dress from Georgetta's wedding, that's gonna be a keep. Um, This is a costume dress at this point, but at one point it was my homecoming dress in high school. I'm sorry, I'm keeping it. I never know when I wanna be Cleopatra again. It could happen at any time. Next, we have a little romper from Misguided and it still has a tag on it. I thought I was gonna be this romper girl, never turned out. If this thing pokes me one more time, I'm gonna scream. Anyway, next up, this lacy black dress. Absolutely love this one, definitely keeping it. Next, this is like a holiday extravaganza. It makes me think of like a 70s like Mrs. Robinson. I just love this, definitely keeping it. Next pile, first dress. I got this for vacation last year, never got around to wearing it. I am keeping it because I do love it. Yes, it still has a tag on it, get over it. Next, this jumpsuit, so cute, absolutely love it. I love gingham, I can't get rid of it. Next, I also love polka dots. I actually didn't realize how much polka dots I really have, but I really like this, it's a high neck. I like the little fluttery sleeves, it's very cute to me, kind of like 60s. Definitely keeping it. Okay, next up, this is one of my like daytime nightgowns. You know all those dresses that I've been getting recently, they're like super comfy, stay home dresses. Daytime nightgown, this is totally it. I've had this one for years, it is so cute. Definitely keeping it. Next up, this one is relatively new. So cute, absolutely love it, definitely keeping it. This one makes me feel like Minnie Mouse, but I'm definitely keeping it because it's just adorable. Thought I was gonna like this. I've worn it a few times, like Christmas time, church, whatever. And honestly, every time I wear it, I'm just like, ah, like this is not me. I don't love it. So that one's gonna go. Ooh, okay. Kind of have the same feeling about this one. Gotta go. Okay, next, I absolutely love this dress. It's kind of a weird shape. It's It's interesting. Your shoulders are out. There's lots of ruffles. I like the color. I like the metallic. Keeping this one. Ooh, okay. Next up, this one was a gift from my mom for Christmas. I haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet, but I really, really love it. It fits so well. Again, this is kind of like a daytime nightgown, which I love. Pretty sure I need to trademark daytime nightgown. That's definitely next on my to-do list. Okay, this dress, I love it. I definitely don't wear it enough. It was a gift from Grant. It's really, really pretty. It's free people. It's really short on me, but... I feel like I need to keep it. Okay, next, this one I've had for so many years and I love it so much. It almost has like cap sleeves, but from the future. And it was very fitted when I got it. I wanna say I'll keep it, but I need to try that one on. Okay, this one, I definitely have a little bit of a story or an explanation to go with it. This is the dress that made me mad that day that I decided I didn't wanna be uncomfortable anymore. <laughs> this is the guilty party. This is what I was wearing when I was so uncomfortable that day and I was just like, I can't wait to get this off. I don't wanna be uncomfortable anymore. I don't wanna buy uncomfortable clothes anymore. And it like broke me. I talked about it in my like daytime nightgown haul video. The, I keep referencing that video. I hope you saw it so you know what I'm talking about. But I was talking about this one day that I was really uncomfortable and I just like snapped. This was the dress. So yes, I am getting rid of it. This dress, I absolutely love. They sent it to me and I never really found an occasion to wear it, but I don't wanna get rid of it because I think it is so pretty, but it's just like extremely roughly. But I'm wearing this. I'm wearing this soon. It is springtime. Let's wear this. <gasps> we only have one more pile left. Ooh, lightning round is going so well. Okay, 
Do you see that? 34. We are at 34. We're definitely gonna hit the goal. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I feel like standing up when I'm recording, it makes me feel like I'm on like a, what is that called? Telethon? This definitely feels like a telethon with how many hours I've been recording this video. I'm kind of losing it right now. We're definitely gonna hit our goal. We have a lot of callers coming in. Just, I'm trying to, does it, I hope everyone knows what like a telethon is. Anyway, okay, this last pile is actually really, really big. So I'm having to split it up into sections. <laughs> it's really heavy. This dress, um, I do really like it. The only problem with it is it's got like a sheer portion in the middle. It doesn't cover the right parts necessarily for me. So I think I have to let this one go. Next up, we got more polka dots. Who's surprised? I love this dress. I love the color. I love the ruffles. This is just everything in a dress for me. I love it. Next, this dress. I've had it for so long and I just don't like it. Every time I even see it in my closet, I'm like, ugh, who let you in here? I don't like that. Ooh, deja vu. Kind of the same color as the dress before last and definitely polka dots, but it's totally different. Trust me, I'm keeping it. Okay, next up, I'm pretty sure I bought this one in the wrong season and haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet. I like the color, I like the ruffles. I have hopes for this one, so I'm keeping it. This is my bell dress. I wore it at Disney World for our first anniversary. Definitely not getting rid of that. This one, picnic dress. I don't know why I like this, but I do. Ooh, banana dress. I got this and I got Grant a matching banana shirt. Haven't gotten a chance to wear it. Definitely happening this summer. Keep your eyes peeled. It's a romper. I'm not so sure about this one. Let's say no. Next up, we have another tropical print. I don't know if this one was for the honeymoon or the first anniversary, but I love it. I think it is so cute. Tropical print for life. Next, we have a sparkly dress that was supposed to be for New Year's and then we ended up not going on our trip for New Year's. So I haven't worn it, but I really, really like it and I think it looks cute on me and I like this square neckline, keeping it. Next, this one is a no. This is another romper, no. This reformation dress is so cute. It's got deodorant all over it but I'm keeping it. And then we have like a little pinafore dress. Yes, we're keeping it. Okay, I got a reasonable stack this time. This is a sequin dress. I actually wore this dress the evening after I graduated from college. Totally appropriate, as you would imagine. I'm on the fence about this one. Sadly, this is, this is gonna be the third thing that goes into the baby pile, which honestly, I was trying not to have a baby pile, but like, if only three things are in the baby pile, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Okay, get off my back. Being very defensive right now to no one. Okay, next we have this really cute star dress. I absolutely love the print. Anything with stars on it, I'm all about it. But I feel like every time I wear it, it like doesn't fit quite right. I'm just gonna say no. This one, I'm gonna say no. Ooh, another star dress. I do like this one better than the other star dress. Let's keep this one. Okay, next we have a little Madewell dress. I think this one's a no. Okay, next up we have another romper. Are we even still doing rompers? I know it was like a romper thing for a while. I had a moment with rompers, definitely. And this was from that romper moment, but I had some good times in this thing. I kind of want to keep it, but I kind of think rompers might be over. Are they over? Let me know in the comments. I just don't know. Let's put it in the outgoing pile for now. Next, we have another really simple reformation dress. I'm keeping this one, definitely. Next, this is just like a floral wrap dress. I don't love it. This dress, so cute. I gotta keep it. Okay, good news, last pile. Did you just hear me? This is the last pile. I'm so happy. Okay, this dress right here, ooh, we had a good time. I've only worn it once. I got it in Kentucky for a wedding on the day of the wedding and I loved it. I got so many compliments on this dress. It was a good deal. It was sent from heaven. I love this dress. Definitely keeping that one. I feel like it will save me again someday. Okay, next up we have this little nude bodycon dress. I feel the need to keep this. Why do I have that? I have that like inside sense where I'm like, someday I will need this. But it happens way too often, I think. I think that sense in me is like a little overactive, but I'm getting it with this and I don't know how to ignore it. Don't tell anyone. Next, spiderweb dress. I mean, you can't say this one would be perfect for Halloween. We gotta let it go. Next up, this dress. I've worn it a bunch. I think it's really cute. It's a wrap dress. You'll just have to use your imagination. I don't know, do I wanna keep this or do I wanna make room for new, fresh stuff? I think that's what I'm gonna tell myself. Room for fresh new stuff. I should not do that. Next, this dress. I love it. I wore it in my engagement pictures. I think it's so cute. I love the high neck and the print, everything. 
Next, ooh, this dress I wore at our rehearsal dinner. I should definitely wear this again, it is so pretty. Next, I got this dress in Vegas at a vintage shop. I was doing like a 24 hour transformation challenge kind of video in Vegas. I was trying to do like a retro, almost like Sharon Tate kind of look. I don't know if I will ever wear this again, but I feel bad getting rid of like vintage stuff. So, and I already got rid of that other one, so we're gonna keep that one. Oh, speaking of Vegas, speaking of weddings, I bought this to be my Vegas wedding dress. Okay, there is actually a slip underneath. When we did our road trip, when Grant was moving, I was like, you know what? If we're passing through Vegas and we wanna get married, I wanna be ready. How psycho was I? And I'm not getting rid of that. <laughs> Next, this is my jumpsuit of life. Does anyone remember my jumpsuit of life? Because here it still is. Just everything about it is just like perfection to me. Definitely keeping this. Okay, and last, another bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> this one was for my little sister's wedding and I don't see myself wearing it again. It does have pockets, but I feel bad getting rid of this because it was my sister's wedding, you know what I mean? Maybe I should like store it. Okay, back in telethon mode, we need to tally up the final count of outgoing clothing items. I'll be right back. All right, guys, good news. We've got 46 things. Ooh, I am so proud of myself. What was the goal? 37? I'm pretty sure it was 37. Can't really remember. But I know it was in the 30s and we blew that out of the water. I'm so happy. I am so done. I only drove myself slightly crazy in this process, but now that I'm done, it doesn't even matter. Um, will I ever do this again? I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this video, I asked you guys like what categories to do next. You can definitely leave your suggestions or your requests in the comments. I'm happy to listen always, but like, I need to take a break for a minute. Maybe let's do something easy next time, like jeans or something like that. What do you think about that? Anyway, subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, I'd love to have you back. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much. You are my people and I love you. Definitely follow me on social media. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. I love talking to you guys over there. And thank you for sticking with me in this very long video. I can't even imagine how long this video is gonna be and I'm happy you're still here. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Telethon over. Bye. Hey guys. <laughs> Stop. This poor baby doesn't have a bed and the whole house has to sleep on some t-shirts. Don't go right back to it. <laughs> Luna, you are crazy.